In today's segment, we're going to go over changing the transmission fluid in a Allison transmission that goes on an International 2022 model. If you're not a subscriber, hit that little button over to the right, become a subscriber right away. So let's get started. These are the items that I will be using safety glasses. Anytime I am under a vehicle, I definitely use safety glasses. Gloves. You definitely need some rags. Oil filter wrench. Half inch ratchet. Half inch extension. 15 millimeter. 13 millimeter. And I'm going to use an impact gun or you can use a air wrench. And that's optional. Or if you don't have that, you can just use these items here. Well, here's our Allison transmission. And the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna drain the transmission fluid. And we have a internal filter inside the pan. And we have a external filter. And we're gonna replace both of them. Need a 15 millimeter for the transmission plug. And next we're going to remove the transmission pan bolts and we need a 13 millimeter and we have drained all the transmission fluid out. Just gonna put the plug up here just to keep it from draining on me. And this is our transmission filter, and we're just going to pull it down. Notice here it's just held on by the tube, and we're just going to just shake it out of place. That's our internal filter. I have a new gasket also, but you don't necessarily need to order this gasket. Just so you know, this is the price of our new gasket. And here's our new transmission filter. Allison did a good job. Only thing we had to do is just pop it back into the hole. I'm gonna go ahead and put the transmission filter back in place. Even after draining, this is what we have in the pan. Some of that came out when I removed the transmission filter. Yeah, this gasket looks like it can be used over and over again. It's definitely reusable. I want to point out one thing. When you drain this transmission pan, you're going to have a magnet here, and it pretty much just stays in place. And you want to make sure you clean that real good because it works, and it works very well. This magnet plays a significant part in helping the transmission filters to keep it clean. Any kind of debris, uh, metal shavings, this magnet is placed here to actually catch that. Just gonna wash out our transmission pan. So right now I had the transmission pan clean and I decided to use the new filter since I already have it. And there's only one way to actually put it on. And we just want to put it back up on the transmission. What you want to do is just wipe your face, take a rag and just make sure it's clean. The transmission pan. I'm going to install a couple of bolts to get it started. Now, I have to admit, since we had the pan off, would have been a good time to replace the external filter, but we're going to get to that 
There's no time loss. But keep in mind you have 12. If you're missing a bolt, make sure you replace it. Do not put up 11 or 10. Make sure it's definitely 12. You want to make sure you do not over tighten the bolts. You do not want to do that. Make sure you don't over tighten it. Now we over at our external filter. Just going to put a filter wrench on it. I can take it off with my hand now. Screw that off. And there should be a magnet on the other end of it. Just like there's one inside of the transmission pan. You might want to take a rag and just tie around your arm just to protect it from transmission fluid. There we go. Let's see if there's a magnet. Right there. Make sure you do not lose that magnet and you wanna make sure that you clean that off and put that on the new transmission filter. This is our new filter and this is the part number along with the price, the price range. And after you clean your magnet from your old filter, just gonna place it in there. I have cleaned my magnet. Just take a rag and wipe off the, the metal debris or any kind of debris. And you want to put the magnet right in the center. That's where you want it. And like I said, you do not have a magnet. Just make sure you get one. All right, we're going to put a little transmission fluid around the gasket. And matter of fact, I want to pour a little train. I have a habit of just putting some fluid inside of it. You don't have to, just a habit of mine. That should do it. Let's put this baby right back up here. Tighten it as tight as you can by your hand and put a filter wrench on it and just get up a quarter of a turn, a quarter to three quarter of a turn. What we do is just turn it three quarter of a turn. And that should do it. Just wipe it off. All right. It's time to put our transmission fluid back in the transmission. Now we're on the left side of the vehicle. Here's your transmission dipstick. And we're gonna feel it where the dipstick came out from. Here we go. This is a little bit smaller than the older ones. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go through the gears. Check out 
air in the cold, and when it get hot, it's going to expand, and the fluid level is going to rise. That's good. And we just want to make sure we have no leaks. Everything looks good. We actually took time to put on a new gasket. But these gaskets are made to last for a while. We could have used the old one. But I decided to go ahead and replace it. Well, that's all you have to do to change your transmission fluid and your Allison transmission. Think of the money that you are saving. It's worth it. Just go step by step with this video and you cannot go wrong. I want to thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe. Take care and God bless.